three reasons why I was able to make 10K last week in, without spending limited time in my business. What's up, guys? I wanted to make this video for, uh, you know, self-employed entrepreneurs. Wanted to show you the life of somebody, of somebody that travels and manages a team. Um, <clears throat> three reasons why. So let's go. I just want to preface this whole thing is last week I made like around uh, 14K, 13K, very, very close to 14. And um, I know exactly how much I make every week. And um, a lot of people don't know this. So let's start with number one. Number one, uh, number one reason why I was able to make uh, 13K last week was because my life is organized. Now, what does that mean? My house is clean. Everything I do is very organized. And it's almost ridiculous how organized it is. But a lot of times, I don't even think what I'm doing. And that's actually a good thing. If you don't have to think about it, then you're, you're not creating as much uh, energy. You're not inputting energy because you want to use that creative energy whenever you're making things like when you're making a video, um, you know, having conversate crucial conversations, those kinds of things. So I literally have, uh, I literally am so organized with like my life in general that I don't think, like I don't even think about what's happening a lot of time. It's just happening to second reason is I have systems in place and this kind of falls in line with organization but literally it's one thing to create new business right but it's another thing to successfully manage it what does that mean uh, showing exactly how much profit you have exactly how much you spend exactly how much the product is worth, all those sorts of things, mining data, keeping data. Literally, I have created systems and processes that help keep all that stuff organized. And I taught my virtual assistants to keep it organized. So the reason why I was able to the reason why I'm organized in my business, I know exactly how much I'm making, and I know exactly what's being done, is because I've created systems, step-by-step -step systems that create results. Now let's move on. Uh, another, the second part of this, number two, is processes that move the game forward. Now that's like a motto and it's a saying, but I, use processes that move the game forward and I know this is kind of this is actually a really boring video but it has to be made the processes that I use are all things that move the game forward now what does that look like well I know I have recording for every single thing that happens um, I have lead generation systems that uh, are very, very optimal. So I have these processes that move the game forward, whether it's like organization, whether it's lead generation, whether it's marketing, whether it's my CRM, customer relationship. I have processes and systems for everything and my virtual assistants um, know those processes because I did those processes when I first started and um, this is a very very crucial part number one let's just rewind number one is being organized number two is having systems and part of having systems too is uh, having peace of mind and I have peace of mind that I know exactly how much I'm spending and how much I'm making and all that stuff. 
So just knowing that just is like, oh yeah, so like I can give documents to my accountant and everything is gonna be totally fine. I may not like it, you know, how much taxes I pay, but I know exactly how much I make and how much I'm gonna be taxed on. So that's a very important thing. Have the peace of mind is the best part about this. Keeping those processes and systems in place that will keep peace of mind available, right? And then number three, which is the biggest, one of the biggest parts is taking time away from your business. Now, a lot of times people get obsessed with their business. And I know this guy, uh, Grant Cardone, he says, you know, 10X, get obsessed, stuff like that. But there is really a balance to the human psychology that he doesn't really like to talk about because it's like, it would mean that he was lazy if he would talk about it. And he doesn't want to be betrayed as somebody that's lazy. That's just my own opinion of his material. His material is great. Um, but taking time away actually creates space in your brain to be creative and to come up with new great ideas and to come up with new things, come up with new systems, new organization. And this has been one of the best things that I've done because I've been traveling uh, a lot lately. Uh, I've been in Mexico for, let's see, since I've been in Mexico for 17 days. And um, one of the things that I've been making a habit is creating time, whether it's going out with people uh, that I just met, whether it's uh, working out, going to the gym, you know, it's really cool. I actually have people that I go to the uh, little park here and we work out together, stuff like that. And uh, I take time for myself. And I think this is one of the most overlooked thing, things that people don't do is they don't give themselves the time for their creative outlets. I like to work out. Um, I like to go to parks. Uh, you know, I like to explore. I like to meditate. I know that sounds funny, but I like doing new, like, spiritual stuff. And what does that look like? You know, just like things that challenge the mind is really interesting to me. And um, breath work, stuff like that. So, like, taking time to learn about this kind of stuff. And then also, uh, and then putting that in your schedule so that you have time for yourself. And this is probably one of the best things that I've implemented as of recently that has given me the peace of mind that I wanted. Um, I'm taking time to travel, to explore here, to um, work out to reach out to people in this area, get to know everybody at Starbucks and all these different things. It's like really fun to me. So it's like, the, that is why that I've been able to be very, spend less than four hours a day and still make over 10K last week, which is amazing. I mean, it really is. And it's funny because the less time I spend, the more time I spend away, the more I make. Now, the reason why is because, you know, I already have my systems in place and I know how to manage, uh, I know how to manage my virtual assistants to do the job and stuff like that. But if I didn't have those systems, then it would be a lot harder to get, get away. So, um, that's it guys like i said uh i just created a new course on hiring firing and managing virtual assistants if you would like that product uh, i'm gonna put a link in the description the course is for normal people it's six hundred dollars but if you're in my mastermind i'm gonna give it to you for 400 if you're watching this from the mastermind 
Um, but, uh, you know, if you're like, I want you to think about this. When I first, I want, I want you guys to think about this. When I first hired a virtual assistant, I had, I kind of had no clue what to do. And one of the things I remember my friend telling me was just hire him or her and just start figuring it out. And just through doing that, I was able to like, like reach new heights so fast. So if you have a sales organization, you need to like, what I would suggest is hire somebody. And then just right after that, like, you don't even have to know why, just hire them. And just let them do like little things like keeping your business organized. That might be a huge thing for a lot of people out there. Keep your business organized. Um, you know, those sorts of things are very, very useful. But just taking the first step is a huge thing. Right? And, and that's what most people don't do is they never take the step. So you want to be different. You want to, you know, you want to, you want to start to take that first step so that you can, so that you're able to travel to um, get people to manage most of your business and then be able to have free time. So I'm going to put a link in the description for my new uh, Hire Fire Manage Virtual Assistance course. And this is like an updated version of Hire Fire Managing Virtual Assistance. Um, it's actually a new way that uh, I don't really see people talking about. So, um, you know, this isn't like the four hour work week, but it's almost like an updated version of the four hour work week when it comes to hiring virtual assistants. So if you guys would like more information, um, check the link out and, uh, you know, I'm making this course because people forget about their life and they make their life about their work. And I'm here to tell you that there's more life than just working. Okay. And, and, and that is why I made this because, you know, when I was building my diabetic product flipping business, my life was all about this work. It was all about keeping my customers happy, conversating and all that. And uh, it really took a toll on me to where, you know, I almost had panic attacks and, and um, you know, just very high anxiety. And so, I mean, you know, after so much time, you want to start to create peace and you want to create less overwhelm. And um, this is very, this was a very important thing because I had, to, I actually had to go through that process to now be able to get to where I am now. And I have three virtual assistants. I'm going to hire a fourth one. And um, yeah, I mean, we're on track to, by next year, we're going to be hitting a million dollars in revenue. And I'm starting another company as well. So, uh, you know, we're doing big things here and, you know, I want to just, uh, tell you guys about that because a lot of people are big time fakers on, you know, on the internet and, uh, you know, I actually do what I say. So the course, you can expect the course that I'm selling on this to have a lot of value. And if you have any other questions, if you purchase the course, you know, you can always ask me questions. And I can do a consulting call uh, for you on how to uh, be able to get your business to be managed better or whatever. We could look at your business and see how you can um, delegate and outsource things and where we can do that. Um, all right, guys. Have a great night. Thank you very much.